Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwa miya sa Allah, kuholoy mula. Yahweh bahashim, Yahweh shai, bahashim, bakaha kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of the Great Millstone who do rule well by the Spirit. Taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akawaf. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws and statutes and commandments of Yahweh bahashim, Yahweh shai, to the best of their ability. Putting their lives on the line, you know, to go out here and do this work. Because we are definitely getting in, um, some serious times this thing is moving real fast and we have to bring out you know these stories and uh, you know we're the watchmen we have to blow the trumpet we just had the memorial blowing of the trumpet um yesterday with the shabbat or whatever but hey we're blowing the trumpet and warning our people that hey we're at war the enemy is on, on the way and we can see him and we're, we're warning the people you know so to speak but i wanted to touch on this i've done a quick post on it and um you know, just by the spirit, I wanted to just go off into a few things, you know. Um, well, let me get the title on this story. This is the business section. It says India just ditched the dollar and used its own currency to buy a million barrels of oil from the UAE. Now, this is big, man, because we can we, we can see it through the spirit that this is the next step or steps moving towards the um, MOTB. I'll put it that way. If you're not sure what the MOTB is, you know, the acronym, I call it the uh, mark of the beauty and the beast, you know, to <laughs> kind of throw off, you know, algorithms. Because, you know, even with subjects like this, you know, the um, the UE, Tubi, is really, you know, um, trying to censor a lot of these these um, talking points. But um, this is really, really big. It's very important. And I was just watching uh, uh, the brothers out GMS out of New York the uh can't think which city but anyway the brother was, he was going off into um the BRICS nations and all these different nations that are coming together to ditch the dollar they don't want anything to do with the u.s anymore they don't want anything to do with the western world anymore and a lot of um america's allies are starting to you know sway towards um their enemies i mean you know like russia their their allies are getting away from them too and that's prophecy that's biblical prophecy um, but this right here is most definitely leading towards the um, the digital world because you're starting to see a lot more videos. The brothers are pumping out all the videos on the MOTB. Um, a lot of these palm readers like in Whole Foods and um, Walgreens, all these different places. Now, they're you know, they're pretty much kind of ditching cash currency in general because a lot of people are not paying in cash no more like that. You know, a lot of people are using their phones. You know, they're using their tap and pay. They're using their Samsung pay, Google pay. You know, Zelle, um, cash apps, all these different things, you know, so on and so forth. But, and I'm not going to go all too big off into this story, but um, let's just get a little bit of it. It says the de-dollarization trend moved one step further because it's been going on. This been this been um, for the past couple of months, this year, man, hey, they, this shit been moving. It says this week. As India's top oil refiner used a local currency to settle an oil trade with a seller in the United Arab Emirates. India Oil Corp ditched the greenback and used rupees to purchase one million barrels of oil from Abu Dhabi National Oil Company. The Indian embassy in the UAE said Monday. Most commodity deals worldwide are typically settled in dollars. But India, the world's third biggest oil importer and consumer, signed a, a contract last month with the UAE, opening the door to use rupees instead of dollars, which would minimize costs by taking out dollar convers conversion from transactions. Because, see, this is what Esau, that's what Esau does. Here you go. You have your own currency. You have to transfer or convert your currency into American dollars just to make a deal, man. But this is what Esau been doing for a real long time. And that goes back to, um, I want to say Nixon. Which president that done that, you know what I'm saying? Where they took all the gold from America. And these damn Americans are stupid as hell, you know? Here you go with this weak ass dollar that's not backed by nothing but air. And these other nations, they're like, you know, every time, and, and see, this is how the US, has such power to sanction other countries and, and these countries are sick of that because it's not just the countries that America sanctioned like their enemies but a lot of allied countries with America that's down with America they do business with all these countries so if they need you know um, say say for instance let's just say they need some salt 
one of these countries they they specialize in salt that's just a you know one thing a mineral or whatever that's in their region and if they do business with that country and, uh, and america has sanctions on that country then they'll sanction the country too like hey man we shit we own boys i need what they got you know what i'm saying <laughs> i need what they got how you gonna sanction me too because you know but that ain't hey, so these other nations they're sick of america they're really sick of America, man, because that dollar, uh, uh, what they got a saying that, you know, when America uh, sneezes, everyone catches a cold. Because America has been, that's how that, that's how America became so powerful, really, you know, other than, you know, the slavery where they got all that free damn work, all that free um, help. And um, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the Israelites built this bitch up for free, so they got all that free currency. But in the meanwhile, too, that dollar, they ate it. He's got a monopoly on the world. So now these other nations, you know, and also the nuclear weapon. When that when that when that bomb went off over in Japan back in the days, everybody was like, "Up, oh, they ain't had no choice but to kick back and, and let America, these so-called white people, get down." They ain't had no choice because America had the big gun. Now these other countries, they got the gun too. Russia got the gun now. China got the gun now. Matter of fact, India, same place right here. They just got their, um, I think their second or third batch of S-400 um, missile defense si um, systems from Russia. Because even though Russia is at war with Ukraine, they still are on, on schedule to deliver the S-400s to India because that, I think that was a deal they made about five years ago. And it was like $5.4 billion deal to get those S-400s. So India is sitting on some shit too. And India, you know, is a part of BRICS. India is sitting on some shit. So here you go. You got um, Russia sitting on nuclear weapons. You got China sitting on, on nuclear weapons. You got India sitting on nuclear weapons. Those are the, the, the they in the top five of nuclear weapons on the planet. Then you got North Korea. They, they stockpiling. And all these nations, they don't like America. And then you got a lot of these other, like I said, America, America's allies. They like, hey, look, man, we just want to just our people are hungry. We're about to go into a whole nother winter. We can't get oil from Russia. You know, they're about, they, they, they about to go into the second winter. Cold as shit. Their citizens are, you know, hungry. The famines are, are, are jumping off and coming into play. But these are all the last days and end days prophecies, man. Well, let me grab this real quick because this was a scripture that came to mind. It says, um, this is Psalms 86 and 17. Show me a token for good that they which hate me may see it and be ashamed because thou Yahweh has hope in me and com and comforted me so you know because I you know I be praying to Yahweh about Shem Yahweh for tokens to see the downfall of our enemies man and this is what's going on we're starting to see the downfall of our enemies this shit is spiraling out of control for the so-called white man and he is scrambling and it's these American ones and then also, you know, with Matthew 12 and 25, a nation divided against a nation or a kingdom divided against a kingdom, it can't stand because Russia, Ukraine, America's so-called white people, they're all the same people, but they're fighting against each other. So they're separated. And then not only that, within the countries of Russia, Ukraine, United States, you know what I'm saying? Italy, Germany, you name it, all these UN, um, EU countries, NATO countries, all these Europeans, so-called Europeans, because they're actually Esau, Edom, these damn Edomites, they're all separated. They can't get along. Now, here you go. You got all these so-called South African countries that's getting down with Russia. You got the coops that's going on over there. They don't want nothing to do with, you know, certain countries, man. You know what? They don't want nothing to do with the West because they're not getting anything out of it. Here you go. You got here in 2023 going into 2024. The average South African is living off less than two dollars a day. While the so-called white man is over there, he's digging out every goddamn thing. He's digging out every damn resource that's over there. He's living it up. He's somewhere on a billion dollar yacht smoking on fucking cigars, drinking the finest of whiskey from the 1800s or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Wearing the finest of clothing. While you got, you know, um, um, um. The damn South Africans or them damn Hamites over there digging out shit and barely got on clothes, man. No shoes. Living like, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's crazy, man. So these countries are, are you know, are, are getting to a point where they like, man, fuck America. And Joe Biden is fucking it all up. And it's a beautiful thing. That's another token. You got um, your two front runners for this country. 
which is supposed to be the great powerhouse on earth, is a, 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 a so-called white man that's damn near 80 years old. He's, you know, both of these clowns, it's like a century year. I'm not saying that, you know, um, being old, you can't get down, you know, as far as mental wise. Of course, you're not going to be out here running and, you know, some of them trying to jog and do all this other shit. But, you know, your mental capacity can be still there. But here you go. You got Trump. Every time you look up, he's at a rally sweating his ass off, you know, um, trying to convince his his followers that, you know, uh, uh, there was election fraud and we're going to win in 2024. So you got half the country believe that Trump's still their president. Then you got the other half of the country, you know, these so-called, oh my, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Y'all need to just give up the ghosts, man, when it comes to um, this political shit here in the Americas. Let these so-called white people fight it out because they're about to. They're about to go into straight civil war. And you get caught up in the middle of it, which Jake, a lot of Jake gonna get caught up in the middle of that shit because they feel like they're Americans. You see? The so-called white man and them fooled them into thinking that they're Americans. They, they, they done forgot about our ancestors and what they went through and that we're still in captivity to this very day. But you got the two front runners of America, an old ass motherfucker that can barely walk up a flight of stairs. And you got another one that's indicted, got all kinds of indictments. This motherfucker got RICO indictments, I think. They about to mugshot this guy, man. He got a, he got a report to Georgia. Well, they gonna come and swoop his ass. They gonna throw this guy in handcuffs. On, on, and he might actually let them do it. That'd be crazy. They handcuff Trump, man, on motherfucking national TV. These so-called white people gonna go fucking crazy here. And that could be a set off on, on, on a whole nother level. So we're just watching everything play out, man. And it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Let me get this again. Psalms 86 and 17. Show me a token for good. This is a token for good to us Hebrew Israelites, man. That's out here on the highways and byways that's doing these lessons and just knowing this, this truth in general, man. This is a token for good because it's, it's for us that they which hate me may see it and be ashamed because thou, Yahweh, has hope in me, which has helped me and comforted me. So the Lord is showing us tokens, man. You see what I'm saying? Matter of fact, let me get this one. Let me go into the Apocrypha real quick. Salakia. Let's get this in the Apocrypha. Hey, 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 it's a beautiful thing, man. We're hey, the, the Lord, out of billions of people, the Lord woke you up. Billions of people, the Lord woke you up. To see the, the, the end days play out, man. I never would have thought that I would, would be seeing what I'm seeing. I never thought that I would be, uh, what, that I would know what I know. You know, I never, I never, I never thought that you had asked me <laughs> 10 years or so ago, man, like, you know, you're going to be out here on the highways and byways teaching the scriptures, man, she been like, man, you're crazy. You know, I had, man, I had a whole other plans. Matter of fact, the shit that I was into before I even came into this truth, motherfuckers is still trying to get at me and get money with me and all this stuff. And I'm like, nah, man, you know what I'm saying? I just had read an email today. With, um, you know, I don't want to go all off into what I was doing. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, uh, you know, well, I'll, I'll say this part, a little magazine, you know what I'm saying? From another country, of course, you know, they, you know, they, you know, wanted to do an interview and ask me about certain things and whatever, whatever. And then, you know, uh, you know, because I was do, kind of doing a lot of business overseas and, you know, people was, you know, trying to do, you know, I've been getting still. And it's kind of crazy within this year or these past two months. A lot of people from that world that I and, and I already know what it is. A, a guy tried to invite me to a um, you know a, a so, somewhat of a business party the other night, and then um, somebody from um, another country, you know, and I'm noticing like you know I shut shit down. Now all of a sudden these people are popping up, you know, out of the woodworks, you know, Europeans, Japanese, Chinese. Oh, so, you know, yeah, we like to do this with you, whatever. I'm like, well, where the fuck did this come from? All of a sudden, I know that that's the damn enemy. That's the damn devil trying to get me outside of this truth man trying to get me to pull me back into that world like nah man hell no i ain't i pray to you how about shimmy i was shot he would never allow me to go back to doing nothing that i was doing before i just want to stay straight ahead into this truth and continue on doing what we're doing because this is a more exciting this is the most exciting shit ever to me is watching the world play out watching the prophecies play out because there's only two major prophecies to really happen it's a lot of stuff that's got to go down you know, because we're in the beginning of sorrows, you know, according to uh, Matthew 24. But it's a lot of stuff that still got to play out, you know. But the two main prophecies, that World War Three, and that's building hard. It's pretty much the start, if you ask me. You know, I'm just speaking as a man. But that 
and that MOTB, that mark of the beauty and the beast where these people want to fucking implant you, they want to turn your ass into a goddamn robot and keep, you know, account of your every damn move every day that you, hey, look, that's here. Revelation 13, 16, that's popping. People are already doing it. People already have their their um, credit card, debit card information on, on chips in their hand and they're swiping their fucking hands and they're making purchases. So you're not going to tell me that that's not, you know, and, and it's just and now with this new dollar situation with shit falling with this American dollar, hey, they going to push this shit quick now. They're going to push it quick because if they don't, they're going to most definitely, you know, because they're, they're trying to hold on to power. They're going to they, they have to do it quick. So that lets you know, like how in what time period we really are, man. This shit is 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 a, is approaching very very fast, man. Before our Lord comes, man. The disciples asked the Lord, "What will be happening just before your coming in the end of the world?" And the Lord gave you the rundown, and all these things are happening: wars, rumors of wars, famines, pestilence, um um um, the uproars of the people, basically, sedition of men is coming. It's already happening throughout the world, but it hasn't happened real, real hardcore in America yet. And that, I'm telling you, if they fuck around and, and, <laughs> and handcuff this boy Trump, because you know cameras going to be all over it. They already um, got these AI um, generated photos of Trump, you know, mugshot, you know, his ass behind some bars already. But anyway, let me get this in the apocrypha real quick. So, like, you ain't mean to, you know, rent. Sometimes we have to just explain stuff and move in the spirit, man. Man's going up. How about Shimei was shy? Sirach. Um, this is Ecclesiastes 25, also known as the book of Sirach in the Apocrypha. It says, There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy, and a tenth, and the tenth I will utter with my tongue, a man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And that's what we're witnessing. That's those tokens. Because I pray to the Lord for tokens. And matter of fact, you know what? Something happened today. It kind of pissed me off. But when I thought about it, you know what I'm saying, by the spirit, you're like, no, the, the Lord was like, hey, no, that's a token that I'm showing you. I'm showing you a token. So I don't know. I had, you know, I had done a video last week. I'm still waiting on my vehicle to come out of the shop. Right. Because somebody, of course, you know, tried to break into it right out in front of my damn house or whatever. You know, they ended up, you know, breaking up everything in the steering column. They done it so damn bad. It's like, you know, it, it needs some extra shit. So I'm still waiting. I'm on a, on a, you know, shop gave me a call about it. I should be up and going in a minute, whatever, whatever. But anyway, you know, I was still, you know, by the, by the you know, blessing. I was able to still get to the um, the plantation, you know, and not miss no money. I just put, you know, I could put that money towards, you know, getting it, you know, the, the, the repairs of it or whatever. So, you know, I'm still able to get to, to the, the job spot because, you know, where I work at, we got a lot of vehicles anyway. You know what I'm saying? I could have just brought one home overnight. I just don't like to do shit like that. You know, I, you know, I, I prefer to stay away from um, that portion of things, but I don't stay that far away. So, you know, the other employees that I work with, they like they know what's up. They, you know, they like, well, hey, we'll just swoop you in one of the company vehicles and drop you off in one of the company vehicles each morning and afternoon until you get your shit right. Which, you know, which I didn't think would be going on as long as it's going on. But anyway, long story short. Damn. Oh, wow. You're about to tear your damn bumper off. I already know that's anyway. <laughs> so this so-called uh white chick, you know what I'm saying? This Edomite chick, you know, a little young, you know, she about 30 or so. I don't know, you know. But anyway, you know, I, I know she kind of well, I know she feeling me. I know she most definitely got the hots for me. But I don't, you know, they I let them do their thing and I generally do my thing. I only hook up with them and just in case, you know, something is needed. And, you know, I, I really don't even see them throughout the week. Though we work in the same building, same department, I might be going somewhere and doing something else and they doing their thing because I, I do something different from them. So, you know, she's volunteering. She's like, oh, yeah, I'll take you home and, you know, I'll pick you up in the morning. And, you know, because we got the company phones and, you know, she'll hit me like, you know, well, you know, you got anything. I'll either do it for you. Don't worry about it. Handle your business. Let you know, get your vehicle done, you know, or whatever, whatever, whatever. You know, if you need me to come and get you, I'll come and get you. So she didn't, you know, drop me off and pick me up a few times. So the Edomite man, because it's two Edomites that I work with. An older so-called Edomite man, and he's a Trump supporter. When I say hardcore Trump supporter, he is pissed right now that Trump is going through what he's going through. <laughs> man, when I tell you today, 
Man, he was so adamant about taking me home. Super adamant. And, you know, she, she kind of mentioned some stuff. She, she don't go too hard about it. But she, she, you know, she's like, he's questioning me about why I'm picking you up and dropping you off. But they both know the situation. I'm like, shit, either one of y'all could have picked me up and dropped me off. You know what I'm saying? But he lives out further. She's right there fucking five minutes from the job where, you know what I'm saying? She can just, you know, go in, grab some 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 keys because we got multiple vehicles, like access to like 10 vehicles. So, you know, and, you know, gas on them. Shit, you know, hell, you know, I'm right. Not too far away. But man, she was like, yeah, he's questioning me like, you know, so I already knew what was up. He he wondering like, you know, like what's good? What What's up? You know what I'm saying? He's feeling uncomfortable because he's from that age. He, matter of fact, he should be retired, but he can't retire. Why? Because it's so bad for Esau that he had to come out of retirement and go to work because he's run through all his money during the COVID-19. The, the uh, you know, um, you know, it, it, you know, he he has that, you know, that lake house. He, he got to work now. His old ass got to work. He's he's got all kinds of ailments, but he got to get his ass up and work. Because his economy, his, his kingdom, this is why, you know, let me get this scripture again. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy, and the tenth I will utter with my tongue, a man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. I'm literally watching the fall of my enemy because he's the age that I know for a fact when he was growing up, a so-called white woman would have never had offered you know what I'm saying? To take me home or pick me up or to even be around me and, and, and on an alone session like that. Me, you know, you, you come on, man. <laughs> Hell no. He's that age. And, and I can tell that it seriously bothers him. Like, you know, that a so-called black man, you know, a so-called white woman is, 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 is going out of her way because he, he's I'm, I'm sure he's probably thinking like, you know, what are they doing? Why are they so cozy? Why does she want to do? Like, motherfucker, I live right up the street. Like, shit, I done done shit like that for y'all. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, because we, we do kind of got a little camaraderie. I'll put it that way, you know. You know, even though I know Esau is a damn enemy. Because the scripture says never to trust thine enemy. And I don't trust their asses, neither one of them. But it's just the three of us that work together. You know, and we don't have to, you know, go and do no bullshit as far as like, you know, go. So we don't have a command center or something like that where we're punching in and doing all this stuff. We, you know, we get our emails, we do our thing and we kind of keep it amongst ourselves that, you know, in case you need to go and do something, you go and do it. You need to go and do something, you go and do it. We'll cover you. you so that's the kind of the thing that we've had going on. We just cover each other. That's the way that I prefer to have it. You know what I'm saying? Because the scripture talks about using the world and not abusing it. You know, because Esau, you know what I'm saying? Hey, believe it or not, <laughs> to be honest with you, this fucking Edomite chick, she, she didn't she didn't show me some more support with my truck being down than anybody around me that I know. Literally, matter of fact, <laughs> we pulled up yesterday. She was dropping me off and, you know, my neighbor was on the porch and he already know what I'm into, you know, because I kicked it to him about the scriptures. And, you know, as soon as I pop out of the truck, he sees her. He like, oh, well, I got to get in touch with Dr. Umar, you know, joking and, and shit. But I told him straight up, I said, you know what? I said, well, shit, you know what's popping. All my peoples know what's popping. You know what I'm saying? Everybody around me know that my truck is down. Not one of you motherfuckers has hit me up and, and said, Los, you need this or, 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 or you need that. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, nobody has said anything like that to me, you know? No one has said anything like that to me. Not a one of them. I told him that straight up. I said, shit, hell, you talking about um little snowflake? Because he called a snowflake and his dad. I was just giggling and laughing and shit because I knew where he was coming from. But I'm like, well, shit, hell, I tell you what, that bitch been looking out for me <laughs> for the past, you know, week and a half or so since my truck been down. I couldn't get nothing out of, you know, ain't none of y'all asked me, yo, you need something? And, you know, he kind of had that look on his face. And then, you know, I was kind of walking on into the house. You know what I'm saying? You know, and he was like, oh, well, you know, you you want to use my truck real quick and go and do I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm straight. Don't ask me now. <laughs> so, you know, you know, sometimes we got to use this world and not abuse it. So fuck that. And that's the reason why another thing, too, I wanted to um, mention in Salakia, like I said, I don't want to rant. But, you know, these are just testimonies that, you know, I pray that that can help us. 
you know, or who's ever listening. Hey, you, hey, when it comes to people that's around you, you into this truth, the scripture says, to be, um, you know, if it's at all possible, if it's possible, be at peace with all men. And that's very important for you younger brothers and sisters that's coming into this truth. You know what I'm saying? Because though we know that we have enemies, they, you know, because a lot of these people, they don't really know what the fuck is going on. You know what I'm saying? But you can't, it, it would be wise to not go on these rants and shit. Oh, you're an Edomite. You're such and such. I, 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 I ain't dealing with you. I don't want, you know. No, because, hey, one of them motherfuckers, uh, 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 you may need one of them motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> in Salakia, like for real, I had to learn that, you know, I learned that later on, you know, being in this truth. I really did, because when I first came, because when you first come into this truth, you know, you're angry. You you know, you have these these feelings. You're like, oh, I ain't know that. Oh, what the fuck? These, they've been lying to you. You know, and you feel all these type, you know, you feel all this type of way. You want all your people to know. You're trying to tell your mama. You're trying to tell your daddy. Don't nobody in your, you know, nobody, no, none of, you know nobody in the hood around you want to hear it. You might come across one person that might be like, you know, oh, OK, all right. It's like a lot of brothers that's into this troop, man. It's rare to have someone that's actually going to get down in this troop with you. So just accept it and be grateful and, and thankful that the Lord woke you up. You can't make everybody, you know what I'm saying, get into this thing with you. It's not it's not designed that way. But when it comes down to once you, you know, you just just calm the fuck down. And be at peace with everybody that's around you. They don't need to know your mindset. They don't need to know um, what you're into. They don't need to know that, you know, hey, I know that y'all going into slavery. They don't, <laughs> they don't need to know that, you know what I'm saying? Hey, the Lord got something for y'all asses when he comes back. They don't need to know all that, you know, especially when you're at the job. You go to your job, plantation, and you fucking do your work. You get your little coins. You get your daily bread. And you bring your ass home. But in the meanwhile, yeah, you, you can sit back through the spirit and you can watch and see how they falling. So, you know, I, I was kind of giggling <laughs> when because because it kind of pissed me off that he was so he rushed up on me. You know what I'm saying? Today, you know, like, yeah, I'm going to take you home. I'm like, well, shit, we already made arrangements because, you know, I was going, you know, because I did appreciate what she had done. I was going, you know, throw some um, gas money and shit. But he rolls up. <laughs> I'm like, well, damn, he kind of fucked that up. You know what I'm saying? Because she's telling me no. Because she was taking me home a few times in her personal vehicle. I'm like, nah, take me home in a company vehicle. You can say that petroleum. You ain't even got to do that. But she's like, yeah, but I got to shoot another move and all this. I don't want to go back and all this. I'm like, all right, well, hey, it's up to you. But still, you know, I appreciate it. You know, I give you, you know, I fill your tank up. You know what I'm saying for you? Because I do appreciate that. Because if I was calling Uber or whoever the fuck, I would have still been, you know, out money anyway. It wouldn't have made no difference on that end. Or even if I was driving my own vehicle, I still would have had to have filled it up. You know what I'm saying? And gas is fucking expensive as hell right now. You know? But, you know, we got um, little gas cars and stuff like that at, you know, my spot. You know, so we, you know, we fill up on, you know, and just go and do our thing. Because most of the time we chilling anyway. But anyway, I wanted to just touch on that. I didn't mean to rant and go all off into a hole. But, you know, these are tokens that we're starting to see from Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man. We're starting to see in, 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 in real eyesight range like up, right up on us like oh this motherfucker oh they falling they doing real bad and everywhere er, and everybody i work around trust me when i tell you the whole because i work in a city of nothing but trump supporters you know I, I you know i can tell how they look at me i can tell how but you know what they cordial with me they cordial with me I understand that, hey, I'm not about to go to no fucking bar with you i'm not going camping with you i'm not going boating with you i'm not going fishing with you you know, but, you know, we have a, a job to do. I get that shit done and I'm headed back to my people. And I know he's headed back to his people. And it, it is what it is. But, man, when I, <laughs> I could tell, boy, that motherfucker, boy, he was like, you know, he, I'm talking about, man, if you had seen how this guy had wrote, I'm talking about he whipped up on me. He left her in the parking lot, not even letting her know that, you know what I'm saying? He had already left with me. She had ended up texting him. Like, so everything OK? I'm, I'm damn near at my house when he he like, well, shit, why am I still sitting here? I, I didn't know what was, you know, no, he whisked he whisked up on me to grab me up so she wouldn't have to. So she wouldn't do it. And I already knew what it was. So Esau out here hurt, man. He's hurt. Esau is doing real seriously bad. Their kingdom is falling. And that's a token, man. So 
you know, just praise you. How about Shimmy? I was shot for stuff like this, man. At first, I was thinking like, ah, oh, you know. <laughs> but the Lord placed it on my spirit. Like, no, that's a token. Look at look at the failure of this motherfucker, man. Because this guy is like in his 70s and he can't believe it. I know from his 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 childhood, you know, of his days of niggas, you know what I'm saying? Because he be, you know, sometimes I'll be with him, riding with him, and, you know, and he'll be telling me about certain little stuff, and I can just tell, you know? I can just tell, like, yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. He be telling me about certain areas and this, 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 and this, and how this used to be. But I know that he's an adamant um, Trump supporter, though. That's for damn sure. He be pissed. Because we, you know, I'll be listening to, you know, a little talk radio, and I listen to the radio shit that they listen to. And they be, they be embarrassed, too. Oh, he's listening to this. He's listening to this talk show because they, they they don't expect niggas to be listening to stuff like that. But see, we got to be on the watch. We have to, you know, we're a hey, we we I am scouring all that shit. I'm looking at news and, and, and listening to shit that I never would have done when I was um before I came into this truth. Never. Shit like that back in the days, man, boring as hell. Like, man, what the fuck is you? I'd have been like, man, what the hell are you listening to? What is that? Why you always? Man, that's all I'm on now. I'm listening to no damn music. You know, that's rare for me. I'm not, you know, trying to find no TV show to watch, you know, which I probably should get a little balance on it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, you know, out here doing no. I'm, I'm trying to scour through this fucking news and, and see what the hell going on and, and stay occupied in these prophecies, man. And that's what we should be doing. You know, I'm not saying that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that, that's what you got to do 24 hours a day. But do know that this is our main job man i know we got family st stuff going on some of us got children some of us got you know um you know just different things to do but number one thing that should be on your mind is prophecy 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 every time we see something prophesy about it post it if you don't have time to do a video throw a post up a brother might see that post and he'll go off into it and, and google it and look into it and he'll do a video on it the flock is being fed, man. You see what I'm saying? So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Shalom.